Okay. Now we're going to show you some of our preparations for this trip. Um, first thing you see there on the left is um, a guidebook. There are many different ones out there. Um, this happens to be uh, Rick Steves Mediterranean Cruise Ports, uh, but we saw many others uh, in the hands of people wandering wandering around. Um, it will just a, a book such as this is really a a wealth of information, not only about sites to see, but also specific information about buses, bus lines to where, to trains, how much things will cost. Of course, make sure that you get one that is um, as up to date as possible. We did find that there were some discrepancies um, in in some of the information prices or say the location of a ticket office, just because of course things do change. All right, um, so get that ahead of time, study it, think about uh, where you're going to want to go so that you don't waste time when you are there. Okay, you also want to make sure you keep your things secure, uh, particularly money and passports, and if you are on a cruise, your ship card, or if you're staying in a hotel, your keys. So here are so some suggestions for doing that. Um, this kind of pouch, uh, this one happens to op have a Velcro opening, has several different compartments or different slots, po pockets, in which you can put variously passport money, credit cards, keys, maybe a stick of chapstick. Um, one thought is if it is hot and you're sweating a lot, um, don't put your money or your passports in the pouch right that will be right next to your body because they will get uh, uh, <laughs> they, they will get somewhat damp. So you can put the things that you don't want to get wet in this outermost pouch um, or outermost pocket of the pouch. Um, it goes around your neck, has a sliding mechanism here uh, to shorten or lengthen the string. Um, and ladies, if you feel like this looks really odd, uh, dangling around your neck uh, under your shirt, because the whole idea is that you put the, these under your shirt so that um, they, you cannot get pickpocketed or, or robbed very easily. Um, if you think it looks odd just dangling around your neck in front of you, makes all your pictures look bad, um, if you slip it, you, um, before you put your shirt on, you slip it over your neck and under uh, one of your arms. So it's uh, across one shoulder and under one arm. Um, it really doesn't show in pictures and is quite comfortable that way. Um, some people choose to take along a lanyard such as this. Um, has Well, you can take off the clip so you just have a ring on the end. Um, that can hold a a ship card, uh, possibly keys, other other things. Kind of depends what kind of what trip you're taking. Um, this bag at the right here. Oh no, well, let's go to the middle one. This is another one meant to go under the uh, under your shirt. You can see it has a zipper close at the top if that makes you feel more secure, as well as a couple of pouches uh, in the outer part. Okay, so you can stash money or passports in there. Um, this is a larger bag that would usually be worn outside uh, of your shirt. Uh, it's big enough that it can hold also a, a camera as well as, um, you know, perhaps a, a piece of fruit um, as well as your money if, if you choose to put it in there. But if you do use one that's outside your shirt, oh yes, sunglasses. Um, if you do use one that's outside sh your shirt, just make sure it is in your in front of you, not behind you. Okay, and when you're in a crowd, keep your arm over over it. Um, okay. How much is this? Oh, um, that was eh, it was somewhere between nine and ten dollars. Um, so you can go to an online shopping site and just uh, peruse some of the various uh, options for for pouches. Um, Okay, let's see. Uh, other essentials, okay, particularly if you're traveling in the summer, um, you want to make sure <laughs> you're going to have water and that you don't have to buy a bottle of water at every single stop you make. Um, it was quite hot where we were, but we had along these collapsible water bottles. These will actually, when they are empty, roll up and take virtually no space in your suitcase or your um, 
or your carry-on bag or the bag that you are whatever bag you might be lugging around with you um, but then you can open them up and fill them uh, these are not particularly cheap um, you may just prefer to get you know to, to get a bottle of water and then keep reusing that bottle until it wears out um, but this the plastic here is quite sturdy um, comes with a clip which uh, as you can see one of us wore through the little uh, little tab that the clip hangs from but it worked well enough for the other three um, they came they came uh, two blue and two green we ordered a, a pack of them and they came with clips that matched their uh, color but we chose to swap some of the clips so we could tell the two blue ones from each other and the two green ones from each other okay that was just a very simple um, bit of coating that helped out all right other essentials um, that will help you keep you from being miserable um, sunglasses a visor or cap okay uh, because if it is sunny or hot out um, it's extremely extremely helpful just to uh, keep the sun out of your eyes you'll be much more comfortable uh, Okay, moving on up to a few more practical items. Watches, something to keep track of time if you're trying to make bus schedules, train schedules, uh, boat schedule, any kind of schedule. Um, we picked up these nifty little things at the dollar store. So spent uh, just $1 each for three of these. Okay, um, and one of us did have along a Old, regular old watch that had an alarm on it because you do want something that's going to have an alarm either a watch with an alarm or your cell phone um, because you may need to in some cases get up by a certain time all right other things not to forget extra memory for your camera obviously you don't want to forget the camera itself um, extra memory for your camera you might want to take along a set of uh, earphones with plug that will uh, you can use on the airplane because if you want one they will charge you for it okay um, don't forget your cell phone charger or chargers for any other equipment that you may be using there okay you might need an if you're going to Europe you may need an adapter uh, for the plugs there and make sure that it will work with uh, 220 volts okay here I've got a little bottle okay here I've got a little bottle uh, that I have relabeled sunscreen okay so since as we all know we can't take big bottles of sunscreen and shampoo and stuff um, onto airplanes these days I simply transferred some of the sunscreen out of our large bottle to um, a smaller one that I'd gotten from somewhere. Uh, you may wish to also take along a small bottle of hand sanitizer okay, for the, all those times you're going to be uh, eating something out on the run um, when, and have no access to uh, hand washing facilities. It also sometimes is useful in uh, de-stickifying your hands if they've gotten sticky from something. Okay, a small bottle there um, just obviously what medicines or medications you might want to take is up to you you would always take your prescription medications but um, a general painkiller such as uh, ibuprofen can be useful um, if you are going to be spending a lot of time um, walking some of those hard s streets if you're walking on pavement uh, all day uh, can get pretty tough on the on the back or knees or feet okay um, if you happen to ever get motion sickness if you're going to be taking whether it's a, a plane that bothers you or if you're taking uh, local trains or buses you know buses that go on windy routes to some very picturesque uh, site consider taking um, some Dramamine or equivalent for motion sickness and last I want to show you I don't really want to show you a towel but 
we were told over and over again um, and read before we left about how it, it, uh, when visiting uh, churches in many parts of Europe, you need the, everybody, women especially, need to have their shoulders and their knees um, covered. So we, uh, before we set out each day, we planned carefully, are we going to any places in which the uh, modest dress is required? And we wore long pants or, or took long pants that we could pull on over shorts. Um, to be honest, it didn't seem to really be enforced as much as we had thought it would be. Yes, there were places in which it was enforced. And some of those also, though, sold that you could buy for like 50 cents in euro uh, if you didn't have a covering you could you could buy a sort of disposable paper uh, covering that would go uh, either over your whole uh, body or just around the waist or around the shoulders um, so what I would do next time instead of trying to worry about oh my gosh are my pants going to be long enough and oh am I going to have to change from shorts to, to long pants or can I pull these pants over okay the next time is simply take a, a piece of cloth uh, much lighter than a towel not a towel but I would take a piece of cloth along lightweight that I could just pull out easily stash in a bag and pull out and kind of tuck and tie together for those half hour or so that I would be spending inside a church um, in which that, that had a modest dress code. And in fact, we saw people doing the same thing. Um, they pulled out shawls, um, shorter or longer, to go over either shoulders that were bare or to just wrap around their waist. So you could take a piece of cloth with you. You could buy one of the many beautiful shawls that are available uh, there in Europe at most tur uh, tourist destinations. So. That was just my experience. Okay, that's it for now. Later we'll be giving you another talk about um, how to deal with money.